We are going to make a smoothie in Blender. This is going to be a very easy tutorial, but we are going to use some geometry nodes and procedural texturing. So let's get started straight away. I'm starting in this scene instead of the normal default Blender scene, simply because we have to know the scale of the cylinder, because we are going to use geometry nodes and I want the scale to be right the first time. So Shift A, add a cylinder, it's way too big as expected. So I'm going to scale this down, bring this upwards, and let's see how tall this is right over here in the items. It is 17 centimeters. It could actually be something like 14 and a half. I think something like this should be fine for our glass. So now I'm going to click on the dash icon right over here and we can see our ACRI. Perhaps we can turn off this film transparent and let's go to this mode first. Heading over into edit mode, I'm going to select all of these simply by holding alt and clicking on this while we are in phase select mode. Then I will press alt S and make sure it's a bit thinner. Now I'm going to click on this top part, press on I, inset it just a little bit, E and bring it downwards until we're all the way down and it's moving outside of the frame. I'm going to press I, bring it upwards just a little bit to get that rounded off shape that you usually have in the glass. We can add a shade smooth, as you can see, it kind of messes things up. So we have to go to the modifier section, add normals, smooth by angle, ignore the sharpness, and now everything should be fine. So the next thing we are going to do is to add another, you guessed it, cylinder. And now we're going to scale this down all the way until it fits inside of our glass, until it is nicely filled up. Now, before we can texture all of this, we also have to do some geometry node work. So let's add some of these little dots that you see in the smoothie. They could be seeds from a kiwi, for example, or some spinach or stuff like that. I don't know, I usually don't drink smoothies. So let's go ahead and add an icosphere. Let's bring this down. And this should work out fine for now. So let's duplicate this and make a different shape. Simply going to scale it on the Z axis, maybe on the Y axis as well. And let's make another one. Let's go over here and with proportional editing, let's make a weirder shape. Something that looks like this, a little less uniform than those other ones. So I'm going to select all of this, place them in our own collection. Let's call it seats, shade it all smooth, give all of them a subdivision surface of two. Control two is the way to do that. So now I'm first going to select the outer part and we're going to make a texture for this. So let's set it to new. As you know by now, there are three ways to make glass, but I'm just going for the simple version right now. I'm going to delete this and add a glass BSDF. I'm going to change the IOR to 1.49 and BSDF into the surface. And now this should be glass. Now we're looking right through it, which is exactly what we want. Then I'm going to select this part. And now we have to open up our geometry nodes section because we have to add the materials in the geometry nodes or else it will not work. So let's go over here to the geometry node editor, press on N to remove this box. And now I'm going to press on new. We are going to work with this cylinder and now we want to distribute some points to have our seats located in the smoothie. So I'm going to bring in distribute points on faces, bring it right in there. Instance on points, bring it right in here and a join geometry. Uh, first of all, our cylinder has disappeared. That's why I added the joint geometry. So we can take this geometry from the cylinder, this group input is the cylinder, and drag it into the joint geometry. And now we've got it back right over here, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to place this upwards, bring in a set material node and place it right in between because the cylinder should be a different material than the icospheres. Now I'm going to drag in our seats collection right over here. Drag it in, set it to relative, separate children and reset children. The reason why we do that is because things will be offset if we place it in like this. So click on this and now it should be over here. So now you have one point and all of those three icospheres will be instanced on that point and we don't want that. So I'm going to click on pick instance and now it will be only one icosphere per point. I'm going to drag this to the side, set material, bring this in there as well. I'm going to add a random value node. Why? Well, I don't want all of these icospheres to be the same size. So I'm going to plug this into the scale, which we can use a float for because scale only works proportionally and not in all factors. So it doesn't really matter if we use a float or a factor. So I'm going to use float. Max, bring it down, but I can't see anything. So we have to make some materials for this in order to make this work. So let's go over here, drag this upwards, press on new. Let's make a new material going right over here and I will call it pink smoothie going to make it a pink smoothie. So let's bring in a noise texture. Let's set this to object. Plug the factor into the base color, bring a color ramp right in between, and now change this color to a pink, pink orangey kind of tone, something like this. And we cannot see anything changing yet. And the reason for it is that we need to set a material. So I'm going to select the pink smoothie, pink smoothie right over there. And now these black parts really don't look that appetizing. So I'm going to change this color to a bit more of a pinkish tone somewhere over here. Could be pretty light as well. 
no problem. You can increase the skill, increase the detail, do whatever you like. Something like this, I think, looks pretty cool. Now I'm going back into the geometry nodes section, select our cylinder and change this to a new material. So I'm going to make a new material and call it seeds. Let's make it a bit of a darkish pink tone. Let's select it right over here, seeds. It could be darker, it shouldn't be too dark, something like this. This is something that I am trying to go for. So I'm going to decrease the scale of this because it shouldn't be that big. It should actually be very small, like so. And if you want more of this, just increase the density on the distribute points on faces. But one thing that's kind of messing with my head is the fact that they are all pointed in the same direction and I kind of want to fix that. So I will bring this to the side, bring this to the side as well. And we have this normal and rotation point right here in the distribute points on faces. So what we can do is bring in an align unit vector, which basically determines the rotation, bring the rotation into the vector, into this rotation of the rotation. And now if we set this to Z and play around with the vector, things should turn around a bit, as you can see right over here. So let me do that. Things are turning around. Now you could drive this as well by using a vector set to randomize, but I think this is good enough for what I'm trying to achieve right now. So I'm just going to play with this vector and I think this looks pretty nice. So for the scale it is 0.02 and for the vector I used 0.292 and everything should be fine like this. But there's one thing missing, one thing very crucial. Because who drinks a smoothie straight from the glass, right? You need a straw. That's what we are going to make right now. So I'm going to place my 3D cursor right over here, holding shift, right mouse click, 3D cursor right over there. Look at this smoothie, by the way. Let's add a cylinder, scale this down until we get approximately the right size for a straw. Scale this up to bring it in here, maybe rotate it so that we can lay it against the top of the glass and we need to give this a procedural texture. So let's click on new. We've got a principal BSDF right here and I'm going to use a wave texture. So shift A, wave texture, let's bring it in here, color in the base color. That doesn't look very good. So control T, set it to object, but they are all stretched out going from this side to this side. So what I want to do is, say, is change it to Z and now they will all go in the Z direction like so. Bring in a color ramp and make sure that we have the bandwidth that we want something like this, should look fine. Let's decrease the scale because I want less of them. Something like this should be fine. And now all I want to do is make sure that they are skewed over to the side just a little bit so it's a bit more diagonal. So let's use the X rotation for it and we can change the face and bring it down, make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to keep the white color white and I'm going to change the black color to, let's say a yellowish tone maybe, maybe reddish. I think this looks kind of cool. So all we have to do is go into our glass. I'm going to select it right here. Control 2, let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Let's bring this to the top, all the way over there. And let's bring one to the bottom. Select the bottom side, press I, make sure it looks like this. And now it's all clean. And the top side, I think it could be a bit better by adding a loop cut right over here. G and Z, bringing this upwards just a little bit so we get that uh, weird looking edge that you always get on the glass. Select all of this. Press on dash and let's see what it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool if you ask me, but there's one thing missing and that is a strawberry. So I'm going to duplicate this strawberry, G and Y, bring it upwards. If you don't know how to make a strawberry, it's in the previous part of this course somewhere so you can find it. Scale it down, let's bring the strawberry in the glass and have it be a nice part of this smoothie. Shouldn't be too big, just a little bit smaller. And I'm also going to take one of these that we made in a previous tutorial as well and bring it inside of the glass. There we have it, a smoothie. Check out my Gumroad for some valuable free and paid assets. And watch this video next. <laughs>